Well, hey guys, good morning and welcome back to Hates a Good Life. I'm so glad you're here because today I'm responding to the tag, if I could snap my fingers. First, I just want to say thank you so much to my new friends that I'm so glad I met you on this journey. Rachel over at Rainbow Valley Farms and Heather and Kevin over at Bare Bottom Acres both tagged me in this tag and I'm so honored you guys. Thank you so much for thinking of me. I love tags. I'm sorry it's taken me so long to get back to some of these tags, but we're on it today. Because truthfully, as I sit out here and I look at this garden, it looks pretty pathetic. And honestly, if I could snap my fingers, I would fix the soil in my garden. I would have a lush green garden without any problems, without any issues that I could just be eating from out of this winter. But that's not the case. And that's not the case for a reason because I needed to learn something in starting this garden. I needed to learn about the importance of soil. Before starting this garden, I had nothing, no idea how important soil was or that it was really considered a living organism all on its own. I had no idea, no clue, no clue at all. And I think that's why some of our predecessors have told some of us young growers and young homesteaders and people who want to grow food, they said, start where you can. And now I understand why, because there is a lot to learn. So it's better to start on a smaller scale and fail small and learn from it, which kind of isn't really failing, right, if you're learning. But it's better to have a faux pas on a smaller scale than to just say, well, I bought my ranch and now I'm gonna learn everything. I mean, I would much rather fail on a small scale and learn from it to be able to apply that to the future. And um, speaking of which, the dreamer side of me, if I could snap my fingers, I, I would definitely want to be on the homestead. As much work as all of that is, that's my dreamer side coming out. But I know the more, you know, the more practical part of me is like, no, you know what? For now, I really just want a garden and I want my garden to be healthy. <sighs> so that's it. Oh, I almost forgot about the bread. Let's go check on the bread. Guys, see, that's one thing that a lot of failure has taught me about is how to bake bread. I didn't know how to bake bread before and now I do. So let's pull it out of the oven. So failure with bread taught me how to actually bake bread. Failure here in this first garden is gonna teach me how to garden. So I'm kind of okay with it as long as I'm learning something. But honestly, if I could snap my fingers, I would love a lush green garden and a homestead. But you know, baby steps. Because the baby steps are there for a reason, right? We learn, we can't just hop right into something. And there's so many valuable lessons in our trials and in our errors. And yeah, I'm just a big believer big believer in stepping into your dreams and learning as you go and being a good steward of things like definitely giving it your best effort but there's no need to beat ourselves up for when things don't go just right um but yeah if I could snap my fingers I would definitely want a lush green garden and a homestead and some chickens and some cows but you know for now we'll focus on the green garden thing guys thank you so much for joining me today I honestly don't know off the top of my head who has been tagged in this and who has not so I'm gonna tag probably too many channels and see who's available to respond. And if you want to hop in on this, feel free. Just let me know and I will link you down below. Uh, okay, the first channel that I want to tag is, the first channel that I want to tag is the Haskins Family Vlog. You guys have been so supportive and so amazing and wonderful and kind. So I want to tag you guys. Thank you for the love. Um, it's been really fun to connect with you guys. The next channel I want to tag is VW Family Farms. I don't think you guys have been tagged in this, and if you have, forgive me, I'm so sorry, but I would love to know, out of all of the million projects you guys have going on on your farm, if you could snap your fingers, what would you guys do? 
maybe it's not even farm related. Maybe it's just go on a vacation. I have no idea. Would love to know. What would you do if you could snap your fingers? If you could snap your fingers and have it happen. I feel like the city said probably already responded to this, but Josh, I want to tag you in this. And if you haven't already done one of these videos, I would love to know what you would have done if you could snap your fingers and have it done. I also want to tag a new channel, Boldly Grow Homestead. If you guys haven't checked him out yet, please do. He's full of knowledge. He's been so kind to kind of let me in on the beginning parts of his journey and let me root for him as he starts this. So you guys join me in rooting for him as he starts his YouTube journey and help us welcome this new channel into the Homestead community. That's all I can think of right now. I'll probably think of some others when I'm editing this video and go, shoot, I should have added them. Anyway, we've got to start packing and figuring out where we're going to live. So I've got to go, but it was so great to be with you guys today. Thank you so much for being here. Love you. I'll see you guys in the next video.